This is the time of adoration. Adoration to the most holy sacrament. The presence of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us spend our time in the most sincere and reverent way towards the Almighty, thanking God and worshipping and adoring, giving glory and honor to His holy name for all that what we heard and experienced today and all that what we want to speak to the Lord today and all that we want to share to God today let's remember all his wonderful deeds upon our life today his providence and protection upon each one of us today dear loving children of God spend few moments in thanksgiving to the most holy sacrament present here right now. Thanking God for all His blessings upon us and our family members. Let's listen what Jesus said today during the Mass through the Gospel passage. Jesus reminded once again, It's not you, I chose you. I appointed you to bear fruits, the fruits which are lasting. Today the Catholic Church also remembered the Apostle Matthias. And we celebrated his feast this morning. And he counted among the twelve instead of Judas the one who betrayed Christ Jesus speaks to us you are appointed and you are chosen you are appointed and you are chosen 
and you are chosen to bear fruits and the fruits that gives lasting fruits let's reflect upon this word that jesus said to us this day also he mentioned the relationship between father and the son and he said to the disciples remain remain with the god in love remain with the god in love that helps you to love one another let us reflect about these two main messages to us this day first one it's not me or you chose our life of course we we discerned it jesus want to speak to us i chose you i appointed you to bear fruits look at each one of us and examine what type of fruits that i bear in my life what type of fruits that i bear in my everyday life jesus mentioned you need to bear lasting fruits and the second message if you want to love someone if you want to love one another jesus said remain with the god remain with the god and fill a heart with the love of god example jesus showed from his life look at the life of jesus from every nook and corner of the world when he was alive especially the three years of his public ministry from every corner jesus received negative vibe people persecuted him people neglected him people made trap for him and people were waiting a time to put jesus in trouble he has done only good visited villages after villages and doing good helped the sick and helped the families but he underwent such a terrible responses that he received from the people of the time but look at how jesus deals with all of them how jesus manages his life how jesus taking complete control over his emotions and passions today jesus spoke to us through the gospel i remained with my father in love i remained with my father in love that he helped me to love everyone and jesus speaks to us the followers of christ remain with the god in love if we want to love someone first let me fill my heart with the love of god that love of god helps me to love my brother and whether my colleagues or family member whoever let us take one or two minutes upon these two messages and reflect upon it thanking god for reminding us once again our responsibilities and duties
Dear brothers and sisters, the rest of the time let us intercede for the whole world. The world is in need of our prayers at this time. Our own brothers and sisters who are really struggling at this time from different parts of the world. Due to this pandemic, many are still in hospital in a serious conditions. Thousands of people lost their jobs and thinking, thinking to go back to their own hometowns. Thinking how to move ahead in the rest of their lives. Maybe having a lot of fear and worries about the financial burdens. Also people who are desperately searching for a job. When the whole economy of this world is down, when everyone is struggling, we ask the Lord to strengthen all those who are struggling at this time. We ask the Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, strengthen every single child of God who is struggling at this time. We lift up all the world leaders and we pray for them, their leadership at this time. We surrender all the health workers who are at the forefront of this, forefront at this time, all doctors and nurses and the healthcare departments working tirelessly for solving this virus and finding a proper medicine for it. We remember families who lost their beloved ones due to this pandemic. their great agonies, their deep pain. Also bring forth all the prayer intentions and petitions that we received from our brothers and sisters. People who requested our special praise at this time. People who are with other serious sickness and illness, waiting for a proper, proper treatment. At the same time, we also remember people who are losing their faith. People who stopped and stopping their prayers. People who feel spiritual dryness at this season. We remember all those who are working with the fear at this time, thinking about losing of their job. All those extra burdens when they work at work from home. 
all the stress that they are taking at this time. Let us sum up all our prayers and petitions at the feet of Jesus at this time. As we are in the month of May, let us ask our dear mother, keep all the COVID-19 patients under her blue mantle and intercede for them as she is doing. We keep on asking her help for the whole world. All the prayer intentions and petitions that we could read in social media these days, especially people who are in the ventilators and ICU and the people who are seriously sick and their photos and their addresses and their names are listed and posted or uploaded in various social media these days, requesting praise from thousands of followers of Christ. We remember all those intentions right now. Lord, strengthen and help your children at this time. Especially people who are in great need at this time. Surrendering all our prayers and petitions. Let us recite with the faith Psalm 91, assurance of God's protection over his faithful. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in darkness or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, the most high your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Brothers and sisters, wherever you are at this time, if possible, please kneel down. Let us enter into benediction by singing down in adoration.
Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ through God and through man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most to holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit in the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen.